Hi, my name is Noah Stolson. I'm 19, I'm from Northgate and I play for the Western Bulldogs AFLW. I grew up with three brothers and we also lived on a park so I was just surrounded by kids all the time just like playing all sorts of different sports and made up games and things and I was always encouraged to um, try new different outlets. So I did a lot of athletics, basketball, footy and just all random sports as a kid. I enjoy skating because it provides me with an outlet and no one can really tell you what to do in skating, it's all up to your personal choice. And I started skating just because my friends uh, at school were skating and they told me to come down and I found it as soon as I started I could never really stop. Um, so I had three brothers when I was growing up. I was a twin and I had two older brothers so it was pretty uh, it wasn't such a competitive household, but like quite a rough household, so a lot of wrestling and fighting games. We used to do wrestling like every Sunday night in my brother's room, and just a lot of games that made me probably much stronger as a female in my sport and um, taught me quite a lot of probably good skills when it comes to footy. Um, in primary school, I had a really good sport teacher, Mr. Plaza, and um, he really encouraged me to try all the different sports, and he never um, assigned me to my gender, and I was always allowed to play with the boys and get involved in all the different activities that the school had. Um, my first uh, club experience was down at the Collingwood All-Stars. I played there for quite a lot of years growing up, just until about two years ago, and I, I played basketball my whole life. I actually didn't start playing footy until I was a bit older, so. I was down there quite a lot and they're a really awesome club and I really loved my time and experience there. They're quite a family orientated club. I started playing footy at Fitzroy Junior Football Club and kind of went on from there but they were always my local club that I always came back to and they're a really good supportive club and then I went off to play at the Northern Knights. Um, after playing my juniors down at Fitzroy in 2019 I was drafted um, in the national draft to Western Bulldogs. For me, breaking into the AFLW wasn't particularly hard just because it was already quite an established organisation and had been running for a few years, so all of the issues had been ironed out and um, dealt with, so it wasn't as difficult in that sense. But however, there were difficult parts, but um, the club has been really great and supportive and they give you a lot of support coming into that new environment and in all areas and aspects, and like in terms of your nutrition and just like media training and all that, so every point gets covered off pretty well when you come in. So. Um, I'm lucky to have such a great club and um, a lot of great support systems around me in that sense. Obviously last year when I was drafted to the Western Bulldogs there was a lot of controversy around the AFLW at that time um, with Taylor Harris's kick and also just with the um, new, new agreements that were being set out for the terms and conditions of the women's players. So um, and that was a bit of a shock for me coming into that environment because um, it just showed that we have a very long way to go in women's AFL. So the Taylor Harris example was just a prime example of how women in sport are treated online with people commenting and just saying terrible things about women for no apparent reason really. So I think that was a big push in the AFLW community and it was really great to see Taylor Harris take such a strong stance on it and have such strong backing from the club and all the other um, AFL women's players. However, we are seeing a lot of good changes happening and um, the AFL is working with the women's side to make sure that we get equal rights in the footy community. Um, I've experienced a lot of sexism in sport um, starting from a young age. It started down when I was probably about four or five down at Marley Cricket and I got told that girls aren't allowed to play cricket. And I threw the ball at the boys' balls and never came back. Um, but just also at primary school, you know, there's never any girls teams for me to play in and I was always having to play with the boys. Um, and sexism kind of was a big part throughout all my sporting, you know, the, it's pretty obvious that the girls are always second to the boys and that was quite, kind of, it makes you feel quite belittled. Um, I've always took the approach of just standing up to the sexism that I've experienced and making sure that I just don't sit back and let it wash over me. So standing up and being a strong voice for the other girls in my team. I think that's important because I don't want to sit back and just like let that happen to me. I think I've just had a lot of confidence from a young age, just kind of not really worrying what other people think about me and I think not really um, letting my gender play a big part in my life, just kind of doing what I want to do despite my gender or, or anything. So I think that kind of plays a big role in my confidence, just not being afraid to break into any different type of community like skating or football or just trying new things. Um, obviously with coronavirus starting it had a big impact on the women's league so the season got cancelled two games early and now it's just had a huge impact on all of our training you know we're not allowed in at the club at all so no VFL 
and just kind of doing your own training sessions and keeping fit yourself, which gets a good test to your self-motivation. And um, yeah, it just means that you're away from the team for quite a lot longer than you would have been and not playing games like we usually would at this time. It's exciting to be an AFLW player at the moment because it feels like you're at the forefront of a, a new game that's up and coming and there's obviously a lot of changes that are being made so it's pretty exciting to be a woman in that time and to see that women are finally taking a stand for like our working conditions and, um, and wages and everything so I think that's a really important thing and really exciting thing to be a part of with such strong um, women around me and I'm always surrounded by really strong inspirational women so that's a huge part of what I love about the AFLW and that's a great experience. For me though I'm most excited for women's Aussie football being seen as no different to any other sport, particularly the men's game and um, our community taking the next step.